I'm Sean, and uh, this is going to be a video in collaboration with uh, La Buona Tavola, The Good Table, which is uh, an online magazine uh, for which I'm uh, writing uh, some articles. The topic uh, for this video, needless to say, because we are in a kitchen, is going to be Italian cooking. We're going to focus on a very simple uh, Roman uh, Dish. The nice thing about some traditional Roman dishes is that they are very simple and they count to very few ingredients. But as you'll see, simple does not necessarily mean super easy. This uh, dish is called la gricia, so it's a pasta dish uh, including uh, three ingredients uh, plus the pasta. So the pasta of choice uh, today is uh, rigatoni. Uh, you can see that uh, riga means uh, line, so these uh, pieces of pasta are, line so that, are lined so that uh, the sauce can grip them even better. Uh, for today I chose De Cecco, which is uh, an excellent brand, but uh, as, long as, as long as it's uh, made in Italy, and especially if it's lenta lavorazione, so worked slowly, then it's going to be good. This pasta cooks in about 12 minutes. So uh, we're only going to cook it for uh, about 8 minutes and uh, we're going to let the frying pan do the rest of the cooking. Our next ingredient is going to be cheek lard. So I'm going to cut uh, the cheek lard uh, in uh, long strips and they're going to be quite thick because uh, I'd like it to be crispy on the outside, but still soft on the inside. So let's say uh, you're cooking for two people, then you're going to want about 200 grams of uh, rigatoni, according to your appetite, and uh, about uh, 150 to 160 grams of uh, cheek lard. The next uh, ingredient is uh, cheese. It's obviously going to be Pecorino Romano top, so Pecorino means uh, sheep's cheese and uh, this used to be uh, made in Rome uh, but nowadays uh, there's not so many uh, sheep in Rome so they actually produce it in uh, Sardinia. Beware that both the cheek lard and uh, the cheese are quite salty. So we're going to put uh, a little less salt in the water to cook the pasta. I'm going to grate uh, the cheese uh, in advance uh, because uh, I'm then going to mix it with uh, some black pepper which is uh, our uh, ingredient uh, number three. And uh, then with uh, a little bit of the water from uh, the pasta which uh, will contain starch till I obtain a cream. So I'm uh, in the process of having uh, the cheek lard uh, melt slowly in the pan. My water is boiling so I'm going to add in salt, but remember a little less than you usually would. Notice how uh, the cheek lard uh, changes color and becomes uh, sort of like uh, shiny and then uh, almost uh, transparent towards the end. As you can see, I added a little uh, black pepper to my cheese but not too much because uh, I left the pepper on uh, the cheek lard so uh, that's already quite uh, spicy. We have a couple of uh, unexpected guests uh, for lunch. The rigatoni have uh, successfully landed uh, into the pan and as you can see there's uh, just a little bit of water on the bottom uh, to complete uh, their cooking. Now it's the moment to blend in the cheese. When you do this, uh, turn uh, the gas uh, down a tad, uh, otherwise uh, you'd burn everything. Hope you enjoy it guys and uh, you'll find uh, all details in the description. Buon appetito everyone, enjoy your plate of uh, Roman Gricia.